The air was cold, oh, and the money was. I clung to a body that night, pretending I was in love. See, I've been told this kind of living ain't, but it becomes hard to fight when it feels like a glove. Welcome to Anna Herman's Eco Fashion Extravaganza. Before I show you the clothes, I'm going to tell you a little bit about lifestyle and living an eco life. We're here in Montana at the House of Herman. This is our bountiful harvest. It's harvest season right now. Most of these vegetables are organic and we have a huge garden. We try to do everything with as least carbon footprint and as best for human beings as possible. So today I'm putting up vegetables, which is part of being sustainable. Behind me, you'll see the wool that is from my friend's ranch. That's what we stuff our pillows with. And we take it and we cart it and we clean it. And then we put it in the pillows. And I'm also using some nearby for the quilt stuffing. Next to that, you'll see my fabric there. It is um, hand dyed. This is the beginning of a new thing we're doing. I haven't gotten it quite as dark as the samples that I've been getting from Tennessee, but I want to switch to the natural dye and I'm just doing everything that I can to explain to everyone why they should live a better life and my grandparents taught me how to put up this food so that I don't have to buy GM ball vegetables later in the season. We're going to be talking about the fashions the way that it's dyed, why it's good to use 100% hemp, the silks that I use, the repurposed, how I started in uh, industrial design background, and why I use the organic cotton grown in Texas that I'm using now, and what I want for the world. And I want everybody to start shopping more naturally and to keep away from polyesters and do what is the best for them to live a, a happy, healthy, lifestyle. And you also notice since we're in this house that we have wood floors. It's a very old house, almost a hundred years old, and it has a, has a wool rug on it when I'm against wall-to-wall -wall carpeting and just everything that goes along with living a good lifestyle. And I have a couple dogs and a nice family, so I'm hoping that you all will learn something from this film. Thank you and enjoy the fashions. thought about throwing this all away I have thought about throwing this all away I have thought about throwing this all away I have thought about throwing this all away a pair. Javier, let me see you strut that runway. I know there's no music, but yeah, you got music in your head all the time, I know. Thanks, Javi. I'm giving 
Celeste. All those people who have gone to prison just standing up for their rights, just wearing their hemp clothes, using their hemp medicine. Just think about them, folks, when we're doing every gig that we do. Think about uh, getting the, get the gates of the prisons open and the brothers and sisters to come out. And right now, we're going to have... Market. They have the People's Market down the way, which we're going to go visit before I go set up at Missoula Hemp Fest. So, in August now, there's a lot of people here that are selling genetically altered stuff. But there's also people that are selling organic produce too. I scored big time because we have the farmer's market tomorrow in Deer Lodge and we can't keep our customers happy because we don't have enough produce. Here's my bags full. Zucchini, eggplant. They didn't give me corn because I wasn't sure if it was Monsanto stuff or not. Huge crowds. It's a big good football game in town today too so everybody is out and about. It's a beautiful day here in Missoula. I haven't been over in a while, so I'm really enjoying myself. People's Market in Missoula, I used to sell here once in a while, selling all American goods and hemp products. It's hard to keep out the people that are doing the sweatshop stuff, and they do try. They have this every, I don't know, every week during the summer. It's just, um, take a gander through and see if there's anything that we like. Those quilts are particularly horrible. Typical Montana stuff. Looks like they have a little bit of hand work on them though. Homemade bags, or are they? Maybe? They look like they're repurposed. The hula hoopers are always out and about. The picture takers. A couple designers. Hmm. River monsters, pet rocks, jewelry. There's always a ton of jewelry at this market. Maybe a little too much for my taste. But the potters. It's a beautiful day for it. Some painting. Some of it's kind of good. Some of it could use a little work. Not that I'm particular. We go. This gal makes uh, repurposed stuff. She does kids. That's a bicyclers here in Missoula. <laughs> peace t-shirts. Missoula peace t-shirts. Hmm. Get a little bit more. I don't really know anybody down here anymore. I used to have a store downtown, but it's been years. <laughs> sure beats shopping at Walmart, doesn't it? We got a soap maker. This is a bunch of imported crap here. This is the kind of thing that I'm against. You know, who knows how well these people were paid for making this junk. Looks like there's a little bit of recreated stuff here. You can get your massage. Lots of massage studios in town here. Get a hat maker. And then I've seen this guy before. She makes really nice uh, chopsticks to put your hair up. This is a bunch of imported crap that I don't care for. An artist trying to peddle his wares. Some bird houses, some more jewelry, things for the kids. And here we are. This is the Main Street Higgins in Missoula. Now I'm going to try to go to the Clark Fork and then I'm going to go set up at the Hemp Fest. So here's John at the farmer's market. We usually run into him at Butte, but now he's selling garlic and apples and squash in Missoula. It's really nice, and it's, all his stuff is organic, which I particularly like. It's an honor now. The yeah. coalition market down in Missoula, it's really, which is right on the other side of that hill. They want you to um, 
grow your produce in the state of Montana to be able to sell here, which is kind of nice. It keeps out all the um, things that are trucked in, which, you know, they say the 100-mile radius for people trying to do. For flowers, vegetables, all kinds of food that you would want to eat, like, right now. Switch. Five Valleys Lens Trust, that's Nature Conservancy. They're pretty good. Lots of red tape, as usual, for the nonprofits. Get some baked goods. Some more vegetables. We can have a little bit of it. If Lots of people today. Lots of bicycle riders in Missoula. Saves a lot. Lots of people ride their bikes. Potatoes. The red potatoes, which you hardly ever see. I never see them in the grocery store anyway. Must be a good green pepper season. This is my old stomping grounds. Here's the wool people. They have the ranch in Helmville where they um, process the wool that I stick into my um, great quilts that I've been doing. The repurposed in wool. Eggplants, two for a dollar. Those look good. That one's even got an extra plant there. Here's a flower lady. That's been set up for a great day. Say goodbye. I can't give it away, give it away. 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 Okay. He's wearing a shirt made from a linen tablecloth. He is also wearing the new Made in America, grown in America, 100% cotton eco pants. We call them beach pants. See the flag tag? A hemp skirt and a 100% hemp top. It's by Herman's Hemp. And the necklace that is also made by Herman's Hemp with unique dye job. The endangered species dress complete with elephants, which are endangered in the wild because people are killing them for their tusks. Made from vintage fabric. Oh, oh. Sarah is wearing a vintage cotton dress made from recycled fabric with a matching bolero. This one is designed in honor of my grandmother. She loved peplums. She was in her style in the 40s from Chicago. Baby, we've all been Hundred percent hemp with a vintage flower. Italy, out of warning sound. This is a twine skirt. It's a hand dyed hemp, and then the hemp twine is sewn in by hand. And she's wearing the green Eco Show T-shirt with a tree frog on it in the world. Sarah is wearing. Another linen tablecloth piece. It's got embossed linen on it. This lady saved these for a long time and I just love to make clothes out of them. Made in the USA. 
by Herman's Eco. Sarah is wearing a hemp silk dress. It's a wedding dress. Pointed sleeves, buttons up the back. Very soft and elegant for the new bride. Sarah is wearing a bridal gown, or it doubles as a cocktail dress, and uh, it's got a silver lame in the top. It's vintage fabric. All of it is vintage fabric, one of a kind. Sarah is wearing endangered species again. It has a rhinoceros and a leopard on it, a cheetah. She's carrying an eco bag made from recycled leather from a furniture store. This is hemp silk, hand dyed. Carl is wearing the tuxedo shirt. I made this for the tuxedo shirt for the Glammies in Hollywood. It's 100% hemp. Beautiful shirt. Anna's wearing the vintage tree dress. Sarah is wearing the Hemp or Nothing organic cotton and hemp t-shirt with a pair of repurposed denim jeans from vintage fabric from the 50s with the flag tag, Anna Herman original. Sarah is wearing a very special pair of denim pants, very rare 50s denim, and a hemp cotton tank top by Herman's. This is an original 20s dress with beads, has a slip underneath, was worn by a flapper. Hard to believe it's still in existence today. Fashion repeats itself every 20 years. Sarah is wearing a vintage slip. It's all hand crocheted on the top with nice cotton before they used all the chemicals. Probably from the 20s, 30s. And a Lily Dashé hat. Carl is wearing a vintage cloth cowboy shirt and a pair of organic cotton, grown in Texas, pants by Anna Herman. Changing how the world shops, right here in Montana. Belong to a very old lady, I don't know what happened to the dress, but the slip could be worn without it. A beautiful piece. 1950s. A couple minutes of Helping Hands Thrift Store. I'd like to thank all of you for watching Anna Herman's Presents The Green Eco Show in Gates of the Mountains, Montana, 2011. We'll be doing The Green Eco Show next year. Changing how the world shops, one person at a time. That's where was it made, out of what, by whom, and what were they paid. Fair trade, sweatshop free, organic and repurposed and vintage. Thank you. Was cold. Oh, and the money was. I clung to a body that pretending I was in love. See, I've been told this kind of living ain't. But it becomes hard to fight when it fits like a glove. And I'm tired of dodging blows under the table.